His hand's unkeepable. I'll wait for him to set up before I throw it back. My next is terrible. I mean, it's not terrible, terrible, but it's not very good. Yours is almost certainly better. I built this, like, this is like a first try next deck. Alright, how would you set up this? Uh, I think I'm going to do... Eli next ice wall. Then I'll put Roto Turret in front of the remote. Uh, putting Ice Wall on the remote and next on HQ. Eli, obviously great RD Ice. You just want to tax them on RD because it's always random accesses. Uh, I usually like the cheapest ice over on the remote, and I always like putting Next Bronze or Enigma on HQ uh, against decks I think that have Yogg in them, because they'll stop them for a second, make them go get their Code Gate Breaker, and then uh, later in the game I don't usually care about HQ very much, so, alright, this is fine, not exactly what I want, alright, hedge fund, hedge fund, hedge fund, hedge fund. Biotically, but it's not even close to hedge fund. Uh, I could overscore a Vitruvius, maybe. I could just wing a beta test. Opponent plays lots of things. Desperado, annoying. Power shutdown. I could blow up Desperado, but I won't. I'm gonna run my beta test, see how I do. Can't resist him next. That's pretty great. I like that. Couldn't be happier, really. Keeping him off Desperado money. Uh, by locking them out of the servers. Uh, maybe Rotator should have gone on the uh, on the remote there, but I've already got another one there. Feel like maybe it's better to put a code gate. Like Viper might be okay there. Maybe just Grim because Mimic. Katie Jones, money on Katie Jones. Yeah, I have I have efficiency committee and shipment. My agendas are uh, the six three twos, three efficiency committee, and one mandatory upgrades. Uh, there's a shipment. Should I just score this? I'll try. Like, he's going to need to install Corroder and Mimic, or install Corroder and an inside job. It's just not likely him to get there.
Let's just do it like this. I am in the ten ten two agenda camp. That's fine if you're not a fan of it. I just I just hate playing more agendas. Um, and I've scored the mandatory upgrades before, like a couple of times. When you do it, like the thing is, is like you really want to score that efficiency committee ASAP. To, to it makes your deck so much better. Um, so I'm like I don't know. Since, since that's such high priority, it's like... You only have three of them. But if you get a Mando upgrades, it's possible to score that pretty quickly. And it does something similar. Alright, Ninja. So the Data Sucker isn't great anymore. Let's uh, put paper wall in archives and click for two credits. I could shut down this data sucker really at any point, but uh, not finding it too important. Resing this next round is mostly to uh, turn on successful demo. Uh, now he's going to go get his Yog. Then I'm going to uh, shut down the data sucker, install uh, Viper on HQ. And. Uh, play successful demo. Deja vu. Interesting. This is just like a really old list. Uh, okay, so let's shut down for one first. Trashing a hedge fund. It's not an agenda. Alright, so I'm three, uh, I'm two shipments down. So the efficiency, and I only need one score. So efficiency is like not of gigantic importance anymore. Unfortunately, as soon as it gets corridor down, like it's going to be impossible to score through this remote. So I'm going to need to do it by biotic labor. Maybe not impossible, impossible to score at the remote, but Ninja, Ninja does a good job against Scram. And another data sucker. Okay, fine. Enigma, worthless, let's draw a card. And take two. I suppose.
How about another? How about another three two? I still, I still feel like I'm losing this game. I could be playing it sloppy. I play ten, I play ten twos, and so like, I don't know. HP fast advance. I like the one pointers. In in decks with like two ones, maybe I should have uh, should have res there. I don't know. No, fine. No, I'll just not. Money on Katie, guess. Play your Yag. Yeah, plays the Yag. Okay, fine. I've got to install another ice on HQ now. Unless I draw an agenda, then I can just score it. I can score half of my agendas. The other half I'm shoving in this remote regardless, even though I think he's got special order corridor by now, after Mr. Leading so many times. Uh, paper wall. It's not bad. I can also just do uh, Eli here. Okay, yeah, so he's got special order corridor. Not terribly surprising. Come on, agenda. Or biotic lever. That's an agenda. I could try it. Oh no, this is not gonna happen. I can't even I can't even score with biotic labor now. Dirty laundry archives. Not surprising. Gets my, uh, gets to see my hedge fund. And then I assume take money off Katie and run. Just, just run. Uh, should I res here? No, I'm just letting you in. You're not going to be running this server too many times in the future. I'm planning on fast advancing the rest of the way, so... He jacks out. <laughs> Interesting. What does he think it is? Edge of the world? Like, what could it be? That I would be so concerned about. Let's just put Grim here. Because why not? <laughs>
Cal's living, yeah. Fine. You got me on the account siphon. Do I res this viper? I guess I do. Make him spend one data sucker token. And not take as much money from me. Not a big deal. If he, uh, he doesn't clear tags, do I kill Katie Jones here? Oh, he's not even taking the money. Okay. Fine. It's gonna be hard to fast advance him now. I mean, I guess I could clear data soccer tokens every turn, but that seems awful. And I have no ice that does, like, anything anymore. No assets to res. No nothing. Alright, come slaving me again. See what I care. Gonna, he's gonna siphon me again, right? <laughs> That's what I would do. Continue to make trips to uh, Mr. Lee's office. Uh, okay, he runs R&D. I mean, he doesn't seem interested in this remote, so I guess I'll res. Clicks through it. Steals nothing. Discards something. Would really like to clear this turn. If I had seven money or eight, if I had eight money, I would do it. I guess if I ate money, I would just I would just run away and score with this uh, efficiency committee. He seems so not interested in stealing it. <laughs> I got him with the no res, no res, no res. How much ice do I run? Only 24. Yes, I'm pretending it is Edge of the World. thinking about what to discard. What would I discard if I were you? Uh, forge activation orders? HQ interface? That makes some sense. Ice wall. Okay. Just take money. Only 24 ice and three power shutdowns. <laughs> I thought it would be uh, cool including like a rush deck because I'm playing like so much crappy cheap ice that it's like I need to be able to blow up your shit. Like it's just not worth it to do anything else. Plays the same old thing. Fine. Is he going to same old siphon me and lose his Katie Jones? No, he just does... Oh, yeah, he is. Same old, same old account siphon. Um... Did you use... 
corridor. Okay. So he takes his two tags. And visits Mr. Lee. Um, should I take credits here? Or blow up Katie? I'll just take credits. I mean, like, if he wants to clear tags and then put money on Katie, like, it doesn't make a whole lot of difference to me. I don't feel like blowing up Mr. Lee. <clears throat> uh, and I'm, I'll blow up Katie if he puts money on it. Otherwise, I'll uh, leave it alone. Lawyer up. Oh, boy. Okay. I forgot about that one. Same old thing. Passes the turn. Come on, Agenda. 3-2. 3-2. 3-2. <laughs> That's what I wanted. I'm not going to run this beta test. His breakers are too good. I have uh, six Agendas left in my deck. I'm definitely not running this beta test. Unfortunately, not going to be able to duck uh, account siphon for a long time. Like, I'm just going to have to eat every account siphon now. I got him on the ropes. <laughs> Do you want to check my efficiency committee yet? Or are you just going to let it sit there forever? Like, what could, What are you so afraid of? Like, what could it be? Nothing anymore. Like, would Edge of the World even have been good? I don't even know if I would have wanted to pay it. <laughs> it's like this gigantic influence splash in this deck with 12 influence that there's no good reason to play Edge of the World in it. Okay, yeah, now he's finally taking a look. If only I had one more credit on the last turn, I could have scored that instead of the beta test. would have been much, much better. Could have held on to the beta test, which could be scored by lots of biotic labors that I still have. He's got lots of money now, so... R&D lock, yeah. Not surprising. Not much I can really do. But at least he's paying, what, six? He can't, I mean, he can pay six every two turns, I guess. Not too difficult. So, I'm going to need some more ice there. Like a roto turret, the last one. Wow, he misses. 
you. If he doesn't put money on Katie, shipment would be really good. Power shutdown for Data Sucker, also very good. This will keep him off account siphon. And I know that he's not stealing an agenda. Wow, and I trash I trash the easily the most useless card in my deck. <laughs> So hopefully he's not sitting on the other data sucker. Hopefully it's somewhere deep deep in the bottom of his back. I don't think he discarded that, did he? Did not. So now he goes looking for the other sucker. Checks to make sure the successful demonstration is one, despite he saw it. You knew what that one was. No, I have absolutely no recursion. Not a joke. No recursion. <laughs> Alright, gain some money. So here's my window. Uh, just take money. I've got three agendas left that can reasonably be scored. And three that cannot. Two biotic labor, one shipment from Sansan. San. So I either need to draw like biotic agenda before he gets the other data sucker and can just siphon me. Unlikely. If he has another deja vu it could also be in trouble though. I don't know how he would fit it. It doesn't have medium. He's probably playing the full influence. So one, two, three, four, five on the table. Six, seven in the discard. I guess it wouldn't be too hard to fit it. I know there's 8 9. There's one Deja Vu in there. But he's probably got another RDI, which would be 11. But then he still has 4 left. I don't know if he's playing Mimic or not. Probably not. I don't see a lot of people playing Mimic and Ninja. Uh, I could also just draw the other power shutdown. Kill the last Data Sucker. That'd be pretty ballin'. But if he's got Deja Vu number two as his final influence, he'll find it soon enough. What is this? Dirty laundry? Inside job. Okay. Steal some bad ones. If you get anything, make sure it's the mandatory upgrades. So I guess this is a position where I would want to have uh, the three ones rather than the mandatory upgrade. Alright, Seals Efficiency Committee. And that's it. Good. That's what we wanted. <clears throat> Going back to visit Mr. Lee, and uh, I would guess put money on Katie as the last pick. Yeah. Okay. Conclude this turn. What did he see? Power shutdown. Adorable. Oh my god. I can get Corroder. I'm going to.
All right, I flop an efficiency committee, unfortunately. Uh, so, why don't I trash this and just put a paper wall there? And click for a credit. Hopefully, you can't recur that corroder. So, yeah. Power shutdown. Doing a good job this game. I should probably be playing some amount of Jackson Howard. Or Archive Memories, maybe, would be fine, too. Just to get back hedge fund. Be like a shitty beanstalk royalty. He takes six from Katie Jones. Deja Vu's Corroder. Okay. At least it's, uh... At least he's not Deja Vuing, uh... The other thing. Unfortunate, though, that he has it. <laughs> Plays a Corroder and... Runs Archives. Make him pay one. <laughs> Still, still losing. Interns. Interns would be cute. Too bad, like... I don't know. What good is interns really going to do? If I mill an agenda, I'd have to put it into play into a remote server that I can't actually protect it in in the mid-game late game. Like, it's so hard with all these shitty ice to, like, do well against, uh... Good decks. <laughs> agenda? Successful demo. That's not good. Alright, let's draw. Fuck. No agendas. Alright, so I'm, I'm gonna lose. <laughs> He's got four hits and eleven cards. I don't see how he's losing this one. Just R and D locks me and wins. Just put money on Katie Jones. Take a credit. Click through one of the Eli's. Or put money on Katie Jones. Run. Click through one Eli. Pay four for the other one. Win the game. Does the same old what? Same old tricky ball. <laughs> okay. Fine. Is that really that much better than same old inside job? I don't know. Wow, he didn't even run R&D. Passes the turn. Agenda? Shipment. That's good. Let's keep drawing. Um, should I take a credit? I guess so. I don't know what else I'm doing. Alright, now it's even harder for him to miss. Half the cards are agendas. <laughs> Maybe he just doesn't run R&D, and then the top guard is 3-2 uh, and I win. But somehow I doubt it. This deck, I mean, like, look, everything went according to plan. I blew up his corridor, I blew up two data suckers, I rushed agendas, and I still can't win. Don't see myself ever winning this one. 